was a sight for my soul. What's up and welcome guys, my name is Luke Martin with ChopstickTravel.com and today we are at a very unique market here in Seoul, South Korea. This is the Tongan Market. Let's go. So the Tongan Market was set up in the 1940s by the Japanese here in Seoul. And what makes this place so unique is this. It's lunchbox. And you might be saying to yourself, that's not very interesting. But actually, what makes it so interesting is the way that you pay for it. And that is with these. These are called yopjon, which are the Korean traditional coins. And the first thing you're going to want to do when you visit the Tongan Market is head over to the service counter. And for 5,000 won, you can buy 10 of these coins, each worth 5,000. 500 won and that is enough money to fill up your lunchbox full of delicious Korean food. Okay, I think we've picked out our first thing we want to try. So that costs two of the coins, so 1,000 won, but one dollar US. Open these up. And take two. Alright, let's keep going. Okay, we've got our next thing to try, and this is a fried tteokbokki right here. Alright, that looks really good and spicy. Okay, we see something that looks really good. Some pork, I think pork skewers with sesame. Check these out right here. It looks like some sweet uh, sweet sauce, and she said it was chicken, not pork, but this looks awesome. So far so good, we've got some really good looking food, and we've got four coins left. Everything is just about two coins or one, and most of the stalls are doing the coin paying system, and they have a sign to let you know that, but we're gonna finish off this lunchbox and then go eat. All right, we found our next food, and that's gonna be kimbap. Okay. <laughs> All right, awesome. So, kimbap. All right, we're also gonna get some bogogi, which looks awesome back there. Bubbling. Back. Okay, I think that'll be the last two of our coins. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Our box is getting quite full now. I think it's time to go eat. We have no more coins left. So we've come up to the second floor seating area of the Tongan Market and we have our lunch box filled up and ready to eat so I'm going to just walk you through what we picked. This is Twigum, which is a deep fried snack, Korean snack and this one I believe is a fish cake and also uh, wrapped in a perilla leaf and then deep fried in a small amount of batter. Then over here, we have the fried tteokbokki, which are the rice cakes, but they are fried instead of kind of braised in the red sauce, and they just look awesome. That red exterior is just looking crispy and delicious. And then over here, we have kind of like yakitori, Japanese yakitori, these two chicken skewers in a brown sauce with some sesame seeds on top. And then over here, we have the bulgogi, which is the marinated pieces of pork and then also kimchi. And it just is 
just soaked in this sauce, which looks and smells amazing. And then we've got the kimbap, which is the Korean rice rolls with lots of ingredients inside, some carrots and some radish. And then she also put some wasabi mustard on the bottom. Let's dig into this lunchbox now, and I'm going to start with this. This is the twigin, which is a deep fried fish cake, I believe, with a perilla leaf on the outside. So let's take a bite of that. Mm. 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 Oh, I love perilla leaf. It's such a like floral flavor. And then the fish cake on the inside is very soft. And then the exterior batter is a little bit crispy still. Mm. That's really good. Okay, next up is the fried dokwoki. And these look awesome, but they look also very spicy. So let's try these. Mm. Oh, it's kind of like mochi, but it has more of a bouncy bite to it. And yeah, those are spicy, definitely. That sauce is just like caked on the outside. Oh yeah, I like those a lot. Okay, next up is the chicken skewer with, it smells like a, a sweet sauce. Mm. Mm. Whoa. That's actually quite cold, and I think it would be better if it was hot, but that's still really good. Sweet sauce and a lot of sesame oil and sesame seeds there too. Man, that is ridiculously tender too. Mm. Oh yeah. Okay, next up is the gimbap, which is the Korean rice roll, and it's just glistening in the sun from all that sesame oil on the top and also there's quite a bit of wasabi mustard on the bottom. Let's take a bite. Mm. Mm. Oh man, that's just classically good. It's just such a perfect little roll and those carrots and radish on the inside are really crisp and the radish is pickled. So it kind of has a little bit of sourness and then a slight kind of seafood flavor from the seaweed exterior. Oh, those are so good. Okay, the last thing in our lunchbox today is the bulgogi. And I believe this is pork, but bulgogi is usually beef. We'll try it out and see. And she also served it with some kimchi, so I'll get a nice double bite of kimchi and bulgogi. That looks awesome. Mm. Wow. Mm. It's kind of like braised in the kimchi sauce. That's quite spicy. Super sour from that kimchi and that is pork but it is ridiculously tender. Oh, I gotta take another bite of that. That is awesome. Mm. Slightly sweet as well. Oh man, that is so tender too. Okay. This is awesome. <laughs> Finished off our lunchbox here, polished it off, and there is nothing left but just some bulgogi juices. And definitely, I'd have to say that bulgogi was my favorite. That is not to miss if you come to the Tongi Market. And if you come up to the second floor, they do have some water and chopsticks, and also you can buy rice and soup with your coins as well. But we didn't have any coins left to buy any of that. But that was very satisfying, a nice little peaceful place to have your lunchbox. All right, that is it for today's tour of the Tongan Market. That was awesome. Definitely recommend coming here and getting yourself a lunchbox. It's just a lot of fun to even get the food and buy it and everything. It's just a good time. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment box and subscribe for more videos like this. See you next time, guys. Bye-bye.